I've carried a burden too long on my own, but I wasn't created to bear it alone. I hear your invitation to let it all go, and I see it now. Laying it down And I know that I need you I run to the Father Fall into grace I'm done with the hiding No reason to wait My heart needs a surgeon My soul needs a friend So I'll run to the Father Again and again and again and again You saw my condition Had a plan from the start Your son for redemption The price for my heart And I don't have a context For that kind of love I don't understand it, I can't comprehend it And I know that I need you I'll run to the Father, fall into grace I'm done with the hiding, no reason to wait My heart needs a surgeon, my soul needs a friend so I'll run to the Father again and again and again and again Oh, oh, again and again and again and again Oh, oh, oh again and again and again and again Run to the Father, fall into grace. I'm done with the hiding, no reason to wait. My heart found a surgeon, my soul found a friend. So I'll run to the Father again and again, again and again. James 5, 1 through 16. Now listen, you rich people, weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosions will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Look, the wages you failed to pay your workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on the earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you. Be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. You too, be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. Don't grumble against one another, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. Brothers and sisters, as an example of patience in the face of suffering, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. As you know, we count as blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Above all, my brothers and sisters, do not swear, not by heaven or earth or by anything else. All you need to say is a simple yes or no. Otherwise, you will be condemned. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. 
Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call on the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective.